The electronics engineering technology program at uh, State Technical College is really built on um, giving students as much electronics knowledge in a two year time frame as we possibly can. That includes a little bit of engineering, it is mostly hands on work, technician wise, uh, sitting in a bench, you know, building circuits, testing the circuits, troubleshooting pieces of equipment. There's a lot of hands on and there's a lot of theory, but there's aspects to both and we spend a lot of time on both. There's days that we're in class and we learn how the things work and then we spend twice the time in here actually hands on doing. I actually wanted to go into electronics because nobody else had gone into it from my school. Um, a lot of people, it was kind of like a foreign uh, you know, subject to them. They didn't know much about electronics. So I wanted to get into that and you know, be able to get my hands dirty and you know, figure out why like, stuff around the house wasn't working. The great thing about our instructors is that you know, like this class, I only have you know, eight to 10 students in. So it's a good student to teacher ratio. So you actually get more one-on-one -on -one time with the teacher. As of right now, uh, the jobs in the field of electronics are through the roof. Um, a lot of the generation that really started and built the groundwork for any electronics engineer or technician, um, they're getting to the point of retirement and a lot of these jobs are starting to come open that just weren't there before. Uh, this year I had every one of my second year students have a minimum of two job opportunity offers. Um, multiple. When I was a kid I had like a fan light that would never work and my sister-in-law's dad came in and like stood in my room for like five minutes fixed it and I was like amazed because for like seven years it wasn't working and then just one day this guy comes in and fixes it and I was like I want to be able to do that. 